artificial mechanism to mm -hmm. make uh, you have a richer harvest if you don't apply it to your crops and vegetables mm -hmm. and uh, use the god given sunlight to grow and mature at its own time i think that's when it's organic food uh, but when you start adding things all those additives mm -hmm. uh, so that you can have a big harvest um crops and vegetables and then uh, you know that's when I say that uh, that food, in a way, is not healthy because it get its, um, the, you know, nutrients, the fruit, exactly. the nutrients come from an artificial uh, mechanics. Mm -hmm. So that being said, back home growing up, you know, we have uh, from different areas and from the east. And, um, from the eastern part of Nigeria. Yeah, from okay. the eastern because part. Because we have east everywhere in Africa. Oh okay. yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. I'm from the eastern parts of Nigeria. So. Mm -hmm. We and uh, my mother was, uh, you know, she's. I can say she, 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 she was a farmer because uh, we don't buy food like that from the store. We plant, we grow our own food mm -hmm. from vegetable to cassava to yam and uh, cocoa yam. Everything we plant our own. We even have pineapple orchard. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So by then we let those things grow on its own. Even the oranges, we don't add nothing to it. But mm -hmm. we know when it's time to harvest we can get something that can sustain us mm -hmm. you know but right now you know as time you know as time ages or time goes by mm -hmm. people are now when i went home people are talking about oh we didn't get fertilizer we have to go put fertilizer sometimes you know to me i don't think all those things are so healthy mm -hmm. you know so i don't know what you have to, to add to it people. you mm -hmm. know i thank you so much my friend uh, um and why did we bring this up? It's because uh, we live in the Western world and uh, a lot of people talk about organic food, like I said. And after a while, we started wondering, what are these organic food? And just like my friend described, these are food that are naturally grown. Mm -hmm. And then why is it very important? Because they're very healthy. Okay. Because they don't have those pesticides that cause trouble. And they cause health issues. So what we have understood actually, I mean from traveling home, because we go home very often too, is that our, our people have given up those food that other people are calling organic and they are buying processed food. So they import food from outside Africa and they are bringing it and they, especially the rich ones. They are eating it, they are eating spaghetti, they are eating indomie, they are eating this. So, you know, I'm sorry to put it this way, but it's always good to call a spade a spade. And uh, what happened is that in the Western world, they have a lot of medicines. And why are they taking a lot of medicines is because those processed food have side effects. I don't know, some, some people that work in the healthcare, you hear about Prilosec, Prilosec, Prilosec. Almost everyone takes it. Because when you eat those food, it takes time to digest. And uh, once again, you see, we are not that, I mean, you know, many of us are not educated in Africa, but we don't have to watch our people 
being exploited again, especially when it comes to health issues. So that's why many of us that have come out here to study, it's always good to share the knowledge to help our people because why it's very important is this. We do not have the medicine that they have here. So we can't watch our people getting sick and dying from what they have eaten just because they don't know. So that's why it's very important for us to address these issues. So my beloved people in Africa, we have organic food everywhere in Africa. What we're eating is what they are calling organic food in the Western world. The cocoa yam, the yam, the cassava, the vegetables, the pumpkin, you name it, the fruit, everything that we have in Africa, they are organic. And uh, they are nutritious. They are everything that you can think of. Because one thing about them is this, because everyone is saying, okay, uh, maybe the fertilizer, like my friend said, will help you to produce more, more food. But it's not the quantity of the food, it's the quality of the food. That's what matters. Because let's say an, an orange, if you eat orange that uh, is not organic, <laughs> that was, you know, grown with uh, pesticides mm -hmm. and everything, you might eat like 20 of it and you're thinking you're getting vitamin C. But when you go to Africa and eat one orange, you will get enough vitamin C from that orange because it was naturally grown. So go ahead, my friend. That's what I need to say. My friend, I had when you talk about importing food like uh, Indomie and all that. And I, I really don't know if Indomie, wherever they import it from, I think it's made in Nigeria. But mm -hmm. whatever they put in it, I think it's a little bit too much for okay. human consumption. But I'm talking about uh, even some of us here now. People at home are calling you to come and do agri. Mm -hmm. You are doing piggery. You're doing, uh, even uh, we call it, we have two different kinds of chicken. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, and then uh, people are doing, uh, they want to point and kill, the fish. Mm -hmm. You just go get fish today, but in two, three weeks, you're killing it. You're is pointing it, sorry, at so it. Is it from the sea or where no, is it? No, you have to have it in your backyard. The fish? Yeah, the fish. It's not in the ocean? No. Or? Oh. We call it point and kill because oh, you can make pepper soup out of it. You mm -hmm. can make anything, even the piggery. They call it. You got a little piglet. Mm -hmm. Before you blink your eye, it's now into a full-grown pig oh. with children, like twenty children. <laughs> oh, oh, piglet, two <laughs> piglets. <laughs> That's the children of the pig. Exactly. So then you're happy. We are all eating. We, the pepper soup, the gongo, whatever you can call it. Mm -hmm. People are making money. But how long do that last? Those things we call it uh, is not official because you are there. The same age of the fish, let's say, that is still in the sea. Mm -hmm. It's still a little thing going around. The one you get and the pump or whatever, fertilizer, whatever food uh, the fish eat, mm -hmm. it grows. And you do not care. You kill it and you want somebody to eat it. We are ingesting all those things indirectly because once the vegetable eat it and grow too big, we ingest it. If the pig eat it and we kill the pig and eat, we're still eating all those things. So all those chemicals now are inside our body. And uh, like my friend said, that she mentioned about the health issues. Our place, Africa as a whole, I don't know what part uh, the government pay, <laughs> give them insurance. Mm -hmm. In the sense, even if you have insurance, it's not a guarantee that the doctor can take care of you. Mm -hmm. You can have insurance all you want. You can have money all you want. But when you get that word cancer, don't blame it on anybody at home. Trace your root. What were you eating? Don't think anybody is jealous of your wealth. It's certain things we put in our mouth. We go to store, now like shop right, we're buying all those processed, preserved food that are frozen how long can they be how long have they been mm -hmm. how long can they be in there before you get to it to buy it and go eat all those things are good but we just have to know are they good for our body what will be the resultant effect after we eat all these things what are the chemicals that those uh, meat or the animals went through or what did they ingest that we become the final consumers so our people i think what we had is still better in any way if we have natural organic food because god bless us with sunshine uh january to february 
Some people are eating that because they are not opportune to have that uh, weather. Okay. We are from equatorial climate and that's a blessing. That's an add-on to what we have. Let's grow our food. Let's go back to basics and stop adding all these things because there are so many things. The fertilizers do not come with instruction. Mm -hmm. They're not telling you what is going on. How did they land that you used to grow this little, little thing? Now you want a bigger thing. What happened? When you eat it, what is going to be the resultant effect? That's what we are talking about. Is it nutritionally healthy? You have to figure that out because as for me, I'm not a doctor. I cannot tell you, but I know that something must be wrong somewhere if we are the final consumers. Thank you so much, my friend. I love everything that you said. And once again, uh, it's good to, I know we have a lot of businessmen and women in Africa. Yes. And I know we have people that want to make money. But why are we bringing this? It's not that we want to destroy your business. But once again, let's call it spade a spade. Many of you grew up in the Western world. Many of you studied here. And many of you have made so much money in the Western world that mm. you decided to come home to do business. But what we're saying is that do legitimate business. Do something that will not kill your people. Mm. Maybe in the Western world or other places they're doing this, just like my friend said, the pig and everything. They have medicine to cure themselves. But our people are suffering so much already. They don't have money even to eat. They don't have comfortable places to eat. I mean, to, to live. live. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of our people are all unemployed. So why would we introduce something that will even kill them, make it difficult for them to even, like we said, they don't have money to buy medicine. We don't have that much good hospitals. So why do we have to introduce things that will cause disease? instead of focusing on what will prevent diseases in our nation. So that's why we're bringing this up. Let's go back to the natural way of fishing. Our, we have so many fishermen. Many of them are that's unemployed. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, and was, yeah. as much as we want to create employment in Africa, it's not the point and kill that my friend mentioned. <laughs> I mean, I have seen it one place actually, that people built, I mean, they built tanks mm -hmm. and they put fish in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, as much as you want to make money, think of people that are consuming that. Like I said, these are people, I mean, Africa, we're not that wealthy in terms of health care that we have to introduce those things. Please, we have enough problem that we're dealing with in Africa. We're dealing with, you know, poverty. We're dealing with so many things. So don't bring diseases to us. Let's deal with what we have now because we want to get out of the situation that we are in. Not to even introduce more things to us. Let fishermen fish where we usually fish. Let them go to the ocean. Bring real fish so that people can eat it. Let the people that go into the bush to mm -hmm. get uh, hunting. The, the, yeah, those are hunt. And the white pigs. And oh, the, yeah. Okay, the white pigs. Let so. them hunt and bring natural animals for us to eat. Not the ones that are processed. So let us go back to the basic. And then instead of using our money, like as we said, to cure diseases, we can use that money to rebuild places and then build industries so that's what we're saying even business people that are doing those things find something else that you can do to make money mm -hmm. there's so many ways to make money in africa but please do not introduce things that will kill our people instead of curing our people so go ahead my friend my dear uh, like you said we are not uh, against anybody opening up a business but what we like she said uh, my friend stated we can do it in a more better way so that when people come there and eat they will have good health or better health even because if you uh, we buy from the hunters people that usually go hunting in the bush to get some bush animals uh you raise your chicken or fowl whatever it is the normal way without uh, injecting all those things inside their body mm -hmm. then we're going to you know have a better health when we eat all those things yes we need places to hang out but uh we don't want to kill people indirectly maybe we don't know either but at the same time there is nothing like healthy food if we eat right eating right it doesn't mean going to eat all these uh, point and kill or processed food but eating the right thing organic food because over here where we are is so so expensive even the poor cannot afford it that will tell our people that, that we are already blessed from the beginning. Yes. Let's go back and wait on nature. Let nature take its course. Let things take its course to grow. Because there is harvesting time. 
there is planting season so if we cannot if we are impatient of waiting for harvesting time once we plant it we want to harvest it right away to make that quick dog um i think there will be other things that will come out of it so let's know that uh, there is a planting season and there is a harvesting season so let's have patience so that our people our life will be more prolonged instead of uh, living in a hurry and uh, going down so quickly because we don't have health care and health care does not uh, you know uh, uh, health care does not mean that if you get sick cancer or any other incurable diseases that you're going to get better no we, we got to be careful of what goes in our mouth because uh, health is wealth thank you so much my friend actually when you were talking I know it's, it's been a long episode there's something that came to my mind uh, because when we talked about the business people yeah. what they could do actually I mean mm -hmm. you encourage fishermen you can even go into you know fishing business mm -hmm. you know buy more nets buy more things even boats and everything and then increase their business so mm -hmm. that you can even bring out more natural fish out of the ocean and then um, even the ones with the piggery mm -hmm. they can start real farm and then grow real pigs instead of just the ones that you the weak the creek <laughs> the weak pig exactly <laughs> And uh, I think I think we're done. I mean, there's something yes. else that came to my mind when you were talking. Yeah, yeah we're talking about vegetables too mm -hmm. because we had, when I went home, mm -hmm. I saw some vegetables like uh, growing. I was like, now they say, oh, we put uh, they call it usadosa in my language. Mm -hmm. So they put all those fertilizer. They just want to be harvesting things every day mm -hmm. without waiting for each season. That's what we are saying. If we can go back to basics, it will be okay. Yeah. Uh, for for help sake exactly you know? and there's something that came to my mind now yeah. because i remember um when we were small they used to talk about diabetes and everything and uh actually where we come from i remember what we call diabetes where we come from was um rich people's, rich people's disease. disease exactly <laughs> and then when i came to the western world i started thinking i said hmm, hmm. what do they mean by rich people's disease what it meant what i understood from it is this you see, when people were in the village, let's say the older people, they don't they don't have access to sugar. Mm -hmm. I mean, what they have is like the the real sugar cane. Mm -hmm. They don't have access to processed food because Do they cannot afford it. Something so sweet. They don't yeah. buy candy. They don't buy cookie because they no cannot chocolate. afford it. No, no, no. So when diabetes started coming to Africa, that was when people started traveling out and they started coming back with uh you know cookies, candies, and everything. So rich people were the ones that could afford that. That's mm -hmm. why they used to call diabetes in my place rich people's disease. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I understood. Mm -hmm. So when you think of it, you can see that most of these diseases we buy them with money. <laughs> I know we buy them with money, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, actually, we're ending this episode. Unfortunately, what the major thing that I've understood with this is this: when we keep on eating those foods that are processed. When our people get sick, they blame it on others. They won't even, like my friend said, they won't think of the source of the illness. Rather, mm -hmm. they say, oh, maybe it's their uncle. Mm -hmm. it's their because uncle. I travel home Because last you week. did this. Because last you traveled. Exactly. I gave somebody money. That's uh -huh. true. Forgetting that it's what they have eaten that is causing the problem. Mm -hmm. So we have major problems in Africa. That's what we said. Please, let's go back to our basic organic food. That's what we have. Let's not give up the good thing that we have. And then start importing the bad things that will cause diseases in Africa. So that's our point. Thank My friend, do you so have much. more things to say? My dear, we have said enough already. We are just telling our people to be careful what we buy with our money. Be careful what you copy from other nations. Be careful what you think is civilization and wealth. That's How you true. think the wealthy people should eat. We got to be careful. You farmers. Be careful what you put in the in those crops yes. because a lot of them are causing havoc. That's so much. Yes, Thank you so much for watching us. Uh, you know, it's so it's so once again it's a pleasure to have you as our viewers. And uh, yes. once again, we'll keep on addressing issues in Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, we like we said, our goal on, on this show is to bring little things. It's always good to share the little knowledge that mm -hmm. you have acquired somewhere else. So that it can help others. Yes. That's our goal. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And watch us again next week at our sweet home, Africa. May God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. We thank you for subscribing. We thank you for all your comments.
continue to do that. Your comment keep us going because it, it tell us what we are doing and what we need to, you know, fix a little bit. Thank you so very much. And don't forget to subscribe and spread it around. Do not be stingy with it. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Bye.